Right then, hello and welcome back to the Real Sociedad Career Mode. Now I'm back with energy today, I'm back with a bang. I'm hoping now after the last episode, as you saw, we had some crucial defending, a great block against PSV and a brilliant, brilliant play from our attackers as we all scored and we actually got wins on the board, which is fantastic. Now for this episode, we want to continue that momentum, of course, but I want you guys to help me out by continuing that momentum. Can we hit 20 likes on this video? Please, if you are new, of course, like the video, subscribe if you like it, but let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in the calendar and this is what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to play that first game against Monaco, of course. Then we're going to play Atletico Madrid. Not easy at all. Then we've got Celta Vigo. I'm going to sim it before we play Athletic Bilbao. Then we're going to sim this Monaco game again in the Europa League before we play Osasuna. Now I want you guys to please let me know what do you think of me simming games? Do we want me to speed it up or do we want me to play all the games? Now I'm just going to have to see your feedback. Quite frankly, today I'm going to sim them. Let's get to Monaco first though. The team to play Monaco then is slightly different I have rotated you can just see it there I'm not going to run through them I have rotated a bit because we've got Atletico next which is going to be a very difficult game but I want to win this too Europa League Knights then at home are ones to always treasure of course if you are a fan of Real Sociedad so in San Sebastian we are going to get there well, actually Monaco are going to get the game underway but we want three points after a good episode and a good run last time out that's a ball into Jimenez who's surely offside is that Raul Jimenez I don't even know it's a oh a good save in the end Monaco have started strong Alara Mendy has dropped down with an injury there after a challenge not great for us but here come Monaco coming forward and in the end then just 10 minutes in I am having to make that change for Alara Mendy Zubi Mendy comes on instead Munoz with a crunching shackle there and shackle tackle and he, but then Zubi Mendy gives the ball away not really what we need. Raul Jimenez now is in there. Can Pacheco get a block and he's just missed it. The keeper misses it. And Monaco do take their lead. Is that supposed to be Raul Jimenez? I think it is. Not sure what's going on with his game face. But that was unlucky from us. Rafinha picking up the ball using Zubu Mendy. Now he's got room to go to Porto. Can I go to Izak there? Yes, we've got ourselves in straight away. That's much better from us. Here come Monaco again. Gorazabal is out of position here. Raul Jimenez. But Pacheco gets the ball. What's wrong with that? Yeah, the man was there, but we got the football. Free kick right on the edge here. Prime prime for a shot into the top corner, and there it is. I could see Golovin was going to score that. I'm not happy that it was even a foul. Monaco have won it straight from kickoff here. Raul Jimenez once again, he's in, and it's a third. I've absolutely capitulated here after that second. It's rocked me, and half an hour in, we're down by three. Here's Porter with a bit of space. He's coming inside. Oyazabal's there if we can find him. That's a good ball. Can I find Izak now? No, it's going to go back to Porto. It's going to fall for Rafinha. Oh, it's saved. Not long left in the half. Surely the ref's going to blow his whistle. Here he is, despite me having a bit of chance. 3-0 down at the break is not good. The fans aren't happy and neither am I. Second half then, we are going to have to get better. Oh, Azabel has already lost the ball by holding on too long, despite me trying to pass it. Azabel just keeping the ball. I'd rather not lose it. That's really where I'm at. Oh, Gravara. Oh, it's fallen for Izak, please. How have you missed? Oh, Azabel with a bit of space. Why are you taking it on your left? Munoz to lift it in towards Rafinha. He's not getting that. What is going on? Rafinha now. Surely that ball for Ayazabal is in. He's got to head it and it's gone wide. Are you kidding? 20 minutes left. Gutierrez and David Silva are coming on. I'm hoping to change the game somehow. Ball's on the edge of the box. Munoz in the way. I'll take it. I'll take it. There's a pass. What is that? Clearance. What is that? And there's the fourth for Monaco wrapping up the game, although the game was already done. I mean, look, looking at it, there was just no scoring today, really, was there? Poor two. Oh, my God, he scores from a header from there. Are you kidding me? There was no scoring today until now from that. Are you joking? And there goes the final whistle. Terrible. Actually, just a terrible performance. I want to wipe that clean. We've got Atletico Madrid next. They can't be playing like that. At least Porto got a goal. Just before we head into Atletico Madrid then, we have got bad news and that Elara Mendy injury is seven months out. It's ACL and it's going to be tough to replace him. It's time for that Atletico Madrid game then and things aren't going to look good with a rotated team by quite a bit because of injuries now and tiredness from the Europa League. And quite frankly, we're going to have a kick clash as well. Look, right, coming, is it the Wonder Metro, coming to the Wonder Metro Apollo? Are we at the Wonder Metro, Metro Apollo? I can't even say it, we are. Um, coming here at the best of times, not good. After a 4-1 defeat, not good. After... Injuries and tiredness now still not good. Things are going to be difficult today, I think. There's Moreno. He's gone past Rico. He's already in. He's in here. He's cut it across, and we're lucky to get away with one there. Good defending. Rico carrying the ball forward. Really unanswered. There's the ball into Moreno. He does well to find Baron Achea. 
Can we get the ball in the box there for Gutierrez? The keeper comes out. There's a clash there, but both players seem to get up. There's a ball in GL Felix now. I'm worried when they come forward or they're this close. Good save. Just makes me a bit nervy, that's all. Now the corner is coming in from Griezmann. Gutierrez has to win his header. He does. We have an issue here as Yao Felix is in space. He's going to have the shot and he's going to score 40 minutes in. We did well to hold him off, but every time they came forward, they did look like scoring and we do go behind. Oh, referee. Yao Felix coming right to the back of me. He's got to go for that. The goal scorer has got to go for that right through the back. That's got to be a red. And that could be really helpful. Right, right on the stroke of half time then. Atletico Madrid have got themselves a red card. David Silva to turn. The strike is, so, is not good enough. And that's the first time we've really worked on black. Second half's got to be good. Rico not getting there. And he's giving it right into... Uh, oh, it's Griezmann. Can we get up? We have to win it. Well done. And as I... Over for Gutierrez. You've got to get there with Jimenez. And he's done so. Gutierrez. I'm not sure how. But he has done so. And Gutierrez is saved. Gives the pressure from behind him. There they are now. Let's go in the box. I haven't been managed to break them down. Oh, what an interception that is. Aaron Shea now coming forward up against Kappa. Kappa's going to have the pace on him. But there we go. One more down. Yanazai. I'm just, I'm literally just holding this ball, hoping for an opening. And I can't see one at the moment. David Silva to Marino. Marino with a bit of space is blocked. David Silva up to Baron Neshea. Can he get a bit of an opening? And he can with three minutes to go. Come on, Baron Neshea. That is a brilliant finish as well. Yes, they're down to 10 men, but it's taken us ages. What a finish. Oh, I was going to go forward. I was hoping I'd have more than one minute of added time. I'm always going for those subs, but that ball was going, I swear. But I'll take a draw against Atletico Madrid away, especially. I said then I would be doing Sims. It's first team Sims only, though, so we are going to use that. And hopefully we do get some sort of result here against them. Good, good win, just what we needed. The only downside to that sim then was we got another injury. This time it was took Evara, so uh, Garudi comes in, or Garu Garidi, I don't know. Doesn't matter, we're going to play Atletico where we're out now, and we're, oh, I've started there, what was that? We're going to win. Don't know what's up with me today in talking, but I'm doing a bit of stuttering. I do apologise, it's Atletico Bilbao, let's get into this one. I'm sure we can get ourselves a win, right? Quite frankly, we're going to get ourselves a win. Rinso and Bastian again. We've got this one. That's a great ball into Inaki Williams there. Pacheco's dived in. Oh my god, what a save. Unbelievable save. Super Mendy now. Come on, Isaac. Why aren't you going? Garazabal is. Oh my god, Portu's just standing up there. Isaac's there. Easy, easy. What was going on there? Why was Portu just stood up there onside? What were they doing? But I'm taking the league. Alexander Isaac is there to knock the ball in the back of the net. But wow, he made a run. The defenders were playing him on side. He was easy to find and Isaac was there across for the sweaty goal. Easy. We are on top of the moment. Isaac now, can he win his header there in the corner? Not quite. If we can get a second here now before the end, before half time or even just any time soon, I think we're in for one. And there is Gutierrez. Correa now coming forward. Munoz looking to get back in there and he's got the block in for the cross. That's very good from him. After that block, Oyazabal's got the ball and we're going to go for Isaac in the middle there. Can he just wait for Porto to come forward? Yes, he can. This is good football from us first time. Oh, it's off the post. That was a great save. Brilliant football from us. We're unlucky. And Goa now going past Pacheco. It's an easy ball in the box there. I can't let that go to Inaki Williams, though. Can't let them be free. Zuba Mendy's got to get up. He hasn't done so good save. Just added time to go, really. Actually, the ref will probably blow his whistle here. There he goes. I would like to second goal. We should have had a second goal. I don't know how we haven't got one. But we're still winning, which is good. Inaki Williams. There's a ball. Greedy now. I need you to do me a favour. He's not done so. The strike is blocked by Pacheco. And away by Nunez. Munoz over in behind. Ball over to Isaac. He's found him straight away. Oh, it's a great block. Oh, it's Garidi in space. I need him to hold on to the ball. Go on, have a strike, Garidi. You've had a great game. Oh, the ball's going to fall to Porto. Oh, my God, he's missed. Oh, Inaki Williams. Oh, no. We've been caught out. Oh, my God. What a save again. From Ramiro. Can we keep that from going for a corner? We can. I made a couple of changes. Or three changes. They're rolling in the corner. We're just going to have to hope. I just need the legs. That's all I'm looking for now is legs. Keeping the ball up here will do me. Oh, he has a bow. Looking for Marino. Our referee. How? How? Yes. Marino with a great volley. He's come on as a sub. And he's done well in the last two minutes. That is fantastic. And that is a win. And there goes the final whistle. I'll take it. 2-0 win against Athletic Bilbao. That's very good from us. That was a much better performance. And I've got to highlight Greedy and Ramiro in goal. He was absolutely unreal.
As I said guys, I want your feedback as to whether I've got, I should be simming games or going again with the first full team sim against Monaco away here. I'm really hoping we get a decent result. Even a point will do. A point will do. That will do. Bit of a strange team for this Osasuna game. I won't lie to you, right? But I don't care. We're going to go and get a win, hopefully, and uh, move up the table. Okay, so by the way, this has been built up as a derby game. I didn't know that Real Sociedad and Osasuna was a derby, but it seems to be. Hopefully then we get a win. This is going to be a big game for us if it, if it really is. Oh, and uh, Zorloff is getting a run out up top, by the way. Let's see how that goes. Munoz now into Gutierrez. Can he just lift it for Zorloff? He's going to have to get in front there. He's done well to keep that. Now into Gutierrez. Can he score from there? Oh, it's a good block. It's a ball over the top. We're going to have to win it, and we haven't done so. He's gone backwards. Why has he done so? And the save is there again. Unreal. Okay, Azabal now coming forward. Coming forward. I need a bit of space. And there it is to have that strike. Good save. Marino. Down for Munoz. Can I get this ball in for Zorloff? No, it's going to go towards Yanazai. He's got a score. Yanazai here complaining about his game time. But this is why. That's got to go in. Yanazai now bringing the ball away. Surely that ball there for Zorloff. Can he keep that in front of the centre back? So he's giving it right to him. Come on, Zorloff. Oh, Munoz, you've missed it. You've missed it. Torres is in here. Munoz, well done. Makes a mistake and fixes it. I love it. Is there only going to be added time? Is this the end of this half? I don't think there is. And I think the ref should blow his whistle any second now. There it goes. And a tense half, tight half, different half. I don't know. Weird. Hopefully, I think we're winning. Reedy waiting the pass. It's going to be Yanazai. And there it is. And I get that ball in towards Zorloff. He's going to win the header. It's a good header. It's a great save. But he was offside. They've got the ball in the box here. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Osasuna out of nowhere, really. I've got themselves in front. Not good defending from us. Not picking up our men. Zorloff's just not been good enough. On comes Izak now. Keeping this ball well. But I need an option. I need an option. There is Izak. Can he get round the man? Yes, he can. Alexander Izak. Already 10 times better than Zorloff. That's a great ball in behind. Keeper's going to have to come. Oh, he's coming. Not got there. Oh, the flag's up. We're so lucky. We are so lucky. Ball into Marino. Surely there it's for Isaac. He's in now. Isaac, you've got to score that. I mean, Zorloff's had a bad game, but come on. Another solid performance from Garidi here. I can't lie to you. Can we get that ball to Gutierrez? Yes. He's going to have to go for Isaac. Now, third chance. He's in. He's still not scored. Back for Azabel. Into Yanazai. Turns. Has the shot. Has he scored? No. It's the Monaco game all over again. I just cannot get the ball in the back of the net. Another couple of subs for us then. Azabel's tired. So Silva comes on. As does Porto. I need a goal. Waiting. Waiting. Waiting too long. Waiting too long now. Waiting way too long. Into David Silva. Lost it. I'm waiting too long today. A great ball in behind now. Garcia. And that's just the right timing for them as well. Can I get there? Yes. What's me added time? Two minutes. Come on, poor two. And we lost the ball as well. Game over, and I'm going to lose this one. I've been so unfortunate. There goes the final whistle. I was just winning the ball back as well. It was all about that one. That one was all about just not taking our chances. Couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. And well then for our player of the episode today, it does go actually to Alex Romero in goal because quite frankly, he was our best performer. He made an absolutely multitude amount of massive saves for us. It just kept us in it. Threw on goals, all this sort of stuff. He made the stops. Yes, okay, we did lose a couple of games, but he can't do everything. The defence has got to be better. We've got to be better going forward, scoring goals as well to make actual points. But he was so good. We'll check the league now, see where we stand. And you know what? It's not looking too bad in 12th. I would like to possibly be a bit higher than that we could be a bit higher we should have won that Real Sociedad game or well, not that Real Sociedad game we are Real Sociedad that Osasuna game and uh, we would have been higher up the table then of course we're at 20 points we would have been about 7th 8th which would have been good which is where I'm looking to go to so yeah 7th 8th if we can get into a European competition next season I will be happy but right now I hope you've enjoyed this one I really have I'm so good I'm so glad to be getting back to it and I'm so hoping that you're enjoying these as well please give the video a like subscribe of course if you are new to the channel we're trying to hit 20 likes on this video so please again drop it a like and I'll see you all in the next one